great. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No, no, never mind. I guess we're, you were here last year. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, people have been asking me that, and I feel like it's my first. It's a totally different experience. So I gotta ask you, I know you, I'm sure you can't say definitively, like, but have you seen any through concept ideas of what you've students in the lives this season? I mean, like, how close are we to that? Listen, okay, so we're only, we're filming right now, we're only, we've only done a few episodes so far, but I have seen my scene. Um, I have done a fitting for it. I hope I'm not saying too much, but whatever. <laughs> and I can say that you guys are gonna like it. It's, it's different from Thunder and Black Eyed Peas. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. It's very good. <laughs> Yeah, or not find their way at all. They just cut to their superhero. You know, that's actually a great question. It's it's been so great because I feel like Nafisa and I are we're going on this journey together. You know, as two young black women and being in the show, we're going on the journey together. So in the show as sisters, it's the same thing. So we pull from that in real life, and both of us have sisters in real life, so it feels very real when she's giving me advice and telling me, Jen, stop freaking out about this and just accept it. This is who you are. You know, those scenes feel very, very realistic, and it's great to have her there, because Lafice is like the best. I wouldn't have wanted anybody else to play her role. I wouldn't have wanted anyone else to play my sister. Other than my real sister. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of superhero is Jennifer going to be? Like, that's a good question. You mean like, like how do you mean? As you're thinking about who she is as a superhero, mm -hmm. what are you thinking? Like, what are you putting into that? <laughs> um, I, wow, I feel like she's going to be a very sassy superhero. Well, like, at the end of the season, when she saw her pick up Proctor and slam him on his side with her powers, I feel like she's going to be doing a lot of stuff she probably shouldn't be doing <laughs> that's just spur of the moment like that. So she's going to have to live up to the name of superhero and not just just a teenager with some superpowers. You know what I'm saying? That's a good question, though. How are you going to balance being a teenager and a superhero? I still haven't figured that out because she keeps busting her phone. So I really don't know that she's been like through three phones in one season. So that's another difficult part about Jennifer. In the comic books, she can't touch any electronics without shorting them out. So it kind of disconnects her from you know, social media and the outside world, all her friends. So we're still trying to balance that and figure that out. She's kind of stuck in uh, a lockdown in the house right now. So we'll see how that goes. Jennifer, she acts like she doesn't have time for him, and she's like, I hate you, you killed my dad, even though Khalil does not know that Black Lightning's her father, he doesn't know that she has superpowers, so all of this underlying anger that she has, he's confused by it, he's like, why are you tripping, you know, so that's something that we're going to dive deep into this season, and um, like I said, she acts like she doesn't have time for Khalil, but deep in her heart, I feel like she does, so yeah, you'll see more of them interact. <laughs> I feel like I'd be happy about it. I feel like if I got superpowers, especially the kind that she has, I would be like, oh, damn, check this out. Like, I would be really excited. So that part, I was like, why is she having a hard time with this? And that's when I had to put my acting hat on and put myself in her shoes. She's already different. She comes from, you know, like this amazing family succeeded in so many different ways. So she doesn't want to be different, and she doesn't want to be seen as better than anybody else. She wants to be normal already. So. And do you also feel like that's also pressure from, like, the fact that her father does so many roles in the community, as well as her sister, you know, just doing so much stuff, like, overachieving and so She feels like, I just want to... I don't want to want to do all that. Yeah, that's exactly where it comes from. All of the achievements that her father has made, like the community calls him Black Jesus. 
Okay, the community calls her Black Jesus. So, you know, she already doesn't want that pressure on her. So being a superhero and just having it plopped on you, like, there you go, that's your destiny. She doesn't want that. You know what I'm saying? Yes. No. <laughs> 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 what? 